word the expedited process is the well thought out process and now I'm going to show you the process that's in between and before I move to that 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 slide I want to say that this also is very handy for builders or for someone who just wants to get a wow factor increase the experience the the value to how you feel when you come home and it, it really is a case where you can have your cake and eat it too let me show you so this is the blueprint that we were sent to work with this is for a builder this was going to be a parade of home house and the the timbers you see here are placeholders just some ideas four areas entry the side of the garage which has a road on this side so there's curb appeal on two sides of the house to, to address the dormer and the headers above the garage we've done a lot of work with this architect and he uh, give me a head start with a little bit of thought where he thinks things might go but he's open to whatever we've had a lot of a lot of fun working together and here's what the 3d model looked like when we're done and the area we worked on first was the entryway they wanted something a little bit different this particular builder their style is a, a a little bit heavier on the elegance than the rustic factor and so we we eliminated the post we brought the, the stone plinths back to the house had the little angle support and the arch bottom goes clear out to the tails with the rafters and the joinery on top and that increased the elegance factor and we also eliminated we also eliminated the rafters behind there, behind the initial truss out front. And that also will increase the elegance, how it feels. And over on the garage, this pop out had originally come down lower with some corbels underneath it. And it was an idea that would balance some of that big, broad, the broad side of a barn, you might say, the big, big wall here. And through the design process, as we we're kind of thinking about it, we thought, hey, that would work really well if there was another access. We could create, duplicate what we did on the front and, and have a door there, which worked out perfectly. They, they, you know, they wanted to do that. So we had the first part done. The second part, the idea had gelled and was looking good. This is all sketches on paper before we're starting the model itself and the dormer then it was a pretty small step to put to flank the dormer with these these steep angle braces like the entry and the the side have and the one thing we really wanted to watch for with this whole dormer was to make sure that it was a muted that it was muted it wasn't too high we noticed the ridge here is drawn a little bit lower. Wasn't too high. The timbers weren't, we kept them back to the dormer. That was part of the purpose of the flanking here. And so it didn't get too high or too like craggy, overhanging. And, and so it would, so would complement these other two areas really nicely and not be a distraction. And then one other little element that, that's kind of a nice touch is these three round headers with no vertical jam is they look like they've been placed there by the mason as he built his wall up because the, the stone comes around the corner and that is the wood in place of the jam and so it, it really adds to that that old world feel so let me ask you have the three examples I've shown you, have they activated your imagination? Do you feel more motivation? Good. I thought you might like that. So the only thing you have to figure out is what it is you want, 
and how you can get that. And I just might have a suggestion for you. Become a gold member. Get your inspiration report in the spring, in the summer, in the fall, and in the winter. And that is articles and information compiled by myself and by other contributing authors, such as a mason or an architect. And we're all giving solid information that is going to help you make better decisions and avoid common mistakes. So very helpful. You're also going to get a design guide. And this was a 10-step process put together with, with, from my, by myself and by an interior designer. And it really is designed to have fast, easy exercises that bring your decisions closer and to avoid unearthing more decisions that you have to, more questions that you have to deal with. So very helpful, and the, the steps or the chapters are also standalone components. You can just use three that maybe you need the most, or you can use all ten. Whatever it is that you need, you, you'll find insight, and it'll, it'll help you dial in what is going to work for you the best. And also get your event notification for timber raisings, for any events we have going on, any tours, you get notification of events like that. And the only thing you have to do is basically let me know which email you want it sent to and hit the submit button and you're in. That's a good solid step forward. So welcome aboard and I look forward to working with you. Thank you.